Hi, this is Lou at Foothills Properties in Tucson. I'm in North Ranch, which is a rather large housing community uh, with, lo with a lot of amenities, uh, not the least of which is a pool or two and uh, a park. And I think there's place for a half court and a number of amenities. I'm looking north towards the mountains. Uh, we're between uh, Shannon and Thornydale, and we're north of uh, Cotero Farms, uh, which is actually north of Ina Road. Uh, we're near Mountain View High School, which may be the best landmark for you. Uh, we're as I said, we're looking to the mountains. I'll pan the street and then point to the house. As you can see, it's a two-car, it's a two-story house with a three-car garage and a large apron for parking. Um, I don't know what the rules are here for overnight on the apron, but uh, uh, we have to live with those, so please check with your manager. We'll walk up to the front of the house, which is what I'm doing now. The door is unlocked but has self-closers on it, so we'll open the door. And we're in, we're in the entry, uh, looking at the extremely high ceiling in this room. It's a pitched roof, peak roof, and it's uh, uh, open to the family room and kitchen there. We'll take a look. so that you can see the whole living room, dining room. We'll walk back to the kitchen. To the right is the kitchen. Straight ahead is the door to the outside. You can see the fireplace. To my left is the steps. There's a bedroom down there and a bathroom entry to the garage. We'll take a look at the kitchen and the dining room area, or the breakfast area, I should say, where I Miss turning on a light. You have a nice size pantry here. It's not walk-in, but it does have lots of shelving. There's good cupboards here for the size of the house. A nice breakfast area. We'll go out the back door now, since we're here. And it's open. This is sort of a pie-shaped lot, a wedge-shaped lot. So we have area on the side. We have a little green area there. It could be a flower garden. It looks like it's set up for that. A lot of landscaping here. We're under a big covered patio with the pavers. Could put some grass in there if you want it. But the landlord is, is not going to do that. And I'm going to close this door because although we're not in flying insect time, it's probably better to have that closed. All right, so now we're looking at the ceilings here. And you can see that the, that the ceiling does go up to the upper level. So that's why the high ceiling's in here. The stairwell up. And we'll do that in a minute, but first we're going to Walk down the hall here, take a look at a closet and storage area. It's large, so it will hold boxes as well as hanging. We have a laundry room. Washer and dryer are not included. We'll look at the large three-car garage. Looks like the garage door is going to get serviced because the chain is off. It looks like some material will be removed. And we certainly can make sure to get that drawer fixed for you. I'll commit to that. If it's not done when you move in, you let us know and it will be done. Here we have the downstairs bathroom. We have a bedroom right here. I'll walk in to the far corner and turn and then I'll open the door to show you the closet 
We do have a walk-in closet. So this room could be used for an office. It could be used for any number of things. It could be for an adult child. It could be for mom. Or if you have live-in help, an au pair or housekeeper, caregiver for someone, they could be there. Or any one of a million things that you would prefer. All right, we're looking in the master. As you can see, it's got high ceilings and a large window here. And yes, you do see the neighbor, but they can't see in, I don't think, too well. But you've got mountain views out there. But it's a big, comfortable, comfortable room. And I think you can get the scope of the room by my backing into this corner. We'll walk into the bathroom. And I think the first thing I want to point out is the whole bathroom area is has a door. So if we have slightly different schedules between the occupants of the master, you can close that off. We have a closet on the right. We have a closet, a walk-in closet with lots of hanging and shelves on the left. Double sinks. Again, it's high ceiling and open feeling. A garden tub, a, stand, a large stand-up shower. And we have the commode room. Now we're looking at the hall bath. And I guess I didn't do that properly. So let's cut and splice out. And here we're in one of the front bedrooms, the guest bedrooms, the kids' bedrooms. Now we'll come in and take a look at the second front bedroom. A little bit smaller, a little different shape, I guess. Again, with a wall closet. Here we have the linen closet for up here. And then we have the hall bath. Again, higher ceiling, very large. A tub with a shower above. So there you have the tour of our house on Stony Brook Circle. And I thank you and have a great, great Tucson day.